So hello everybody, what is going on dudes, it is Kibu Shimaka here, and welcome back to some more Earthbound 1 Mother 2. Last time, uh, well, we had reunited with Ness and Paula in 3 and laid down that um, zombie flypaper in the tent. Um, and like I said I would do off screen, I went ahead and just slept until I got the broken um, air gun fixed, then he gave me the magnum air gun, and the broken iron which gave me the slime generator. So we have these two wonderful items, so you might as well head out. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I was looking at something else, my little brother's watching um, a video, but let's check out what's going on inside the tent, and it looks like um, everyone's gathering outside. What happened? Let's go outside and let's see what's up. And that looks like that flypaper might have worked. Superman is uh, the zombie stuck to the floor. I wonder if they can still get me. I don't care what happens to anyone else, I just want to save my own skin. There's no response. I blame you after my death. I try to get away. I'll, if I try to get away, my body will just fall apart. Because I'm a zombie. That's funny though. The zombie flypaper actually works. Well, we did it. Did you look at the tent? Yeah! We caught those stupid zombies and let's talk to them. I was able to arrest many zombies because we help. Arrest sounds strange, doesn't it? Maybe you might not understand my saying this, but we're zombies. Yo! Damn it! Yeah, cut all the zombies. Ugh, it's really gross. Well, with all these zombies captured, apparently, I say we kind of head out and around to go check this room place. Let me see what kind of items I have. Uh, I think I have the best things I can have for now. But let's head up, and um, I believe that place that was closed off earlier by the zombies should now be open for us to access. And uh, if you wanted to, you could come up here and just sort of grind if you do not have Jeff with 12 IQ in order to get the broken iron and the broken um, thing fixed, the broken air gun fixed. But now we can head down here and enter, well, the very mysterious cave. Now there's a lot of things to watch out for in this area. You can get a couple of items here and there. You're gonna to want to be careful though, because yes, some of the enemies here are quite difficult. Just like the good old fashioned zombies. You got a cold. Wow. Took like all of them to just. Jeez. That's hysterically. I really don't think these guys had all that much, but right now, uh, let's leave. We could just quickly PSI heal. Yeah, it got over the cold. Now you just need to take care of these guys. I don't know why I'm using PSI Fire with Paula and her PSI. It's really just because that her, um, she's able just to expand PP like there's no moral. So it's just easier for me to use hers because she can easily expend it, then easily rejuvenate it. And hey, she grew up to level 19, I believe it was. And she learned the fi power of PSI Fire Beta. Let's check what's in here. Ta da! There's a skip sandwich DX inside. I'm gonna wanna give that to um, Paula to hold just because it's the more useful thing to do. Uh, you're gonna wanna be careful in here because you can run into a very rare enemy in here called the zombie dog, and that is one very dangerous creature. So you're just gonna wanna watch yourself and try not to you know, hope that you don't run into it because it does definitely a lot. Let's see. Let's just keep going. Let's keep wailing. <sighs> we should be able to take these guys down. 
we get five minutes in, I believe. Um, so, how's everyone doing? Might as well ask that, you know, check up on everyone. How is everyone going on with their life? Ta-da, and it's a silver bracelet. Um, let's see, who has the lowest, we got boost defense. Let's see, who has the lowest defense? That would be our buddy Jeff. So let me give that to Jeff. Let's uh, equip. Are these arms? Yeah, there we go. A definite boost. So let's head up and head right. I believe we're slowly exiting the cave. We're almost out of here. And there's an enemy here. Uh, not really all that strong, but can be a pain if you're not careful. Let's go. York, York. Hey, you. So I'm there. You there wandering around without any fly hunting. I'm the mortal enemy of your kind. Well, this man apparently is the mortal enemy of our kind. Hmm. Well, uh, we have ourselves the mini barf. And, um, I recommend you kind of just hit him with your PSI moves because it'll be a little difficult for you to hit him normally because he will be spewing. There you go. Stinky gas. And so, we will be crying for this battle, so it'll be a lot harder for us to hit him on attacks. However, with PSI moves. It should be easier on us, so it's just in the piece of rockin', fire, and just bat shoot at him. Six, narrowly miss, rockin' alpha. No six, except bust think he did nothing. Um, it's just in the piece of rockin', fire, and just blast. There we go, narrowly miss, rockin' alpha, and. I thought that would have taken care of it. Um, let's see if we can just bash him. Let's see if we can try and bash him. Up and sit down, there's a miss, 74, and down goes the mini. Thank goodness. 2500, and Jeff grew to level 19. That's very nice. You've defeated me. Allow me to eat some fly honey for the last time. And ask about change people like you. You see, those who don't have fly honey are no mortal enemies. Now, I believe you could have avoided that fight entirely, however, I just kind of prefer to take him on. See the man says, This man, you must have a long, tough road ahead of you. What? No. There's no need to explain. I already know. You must be hungry. This is good timing for you. I have to be carrying something to eat. What would you like? We have no money, sir. Please, by all means, come again. I uh, just remember. There is a village with many interesting people just ahead. You should go there and visit. I heard that the name of some of the village is Saturn Valley, but I cannot be found. But it cannot be found on any map. Hmm. Very strange. Well, we have a few new enemies around here, and they will not hesitate to attack you. We have the Armored Frog. Now, in order to take this down, you have to use Peace of Freeze, because it is your strongest attack against them. Because, yeah, they're going to one hit with Peace of Freeze, but if you're to attack them normally, that would do most definitely nothing. <sighs> so let's keep going, and I believe that you can actually grind for, um, where is it, Butterfly here? Yeah, there it is. Get over here. Stop hiding, stop hiding behind the old man, just help rejuvenate my power points, please. Thank you very much. Right, let's head back up. And um, if you don't know what this place is called, it is the wonderful and mystical Grapefruit Falls. And I believe these are attack slugs? Oh no, they're antoids. Antoids are red antoids. Alright, let's just rock in. Let's thunder. And then let's shoot the red antoids. In this case, 29, down goes that antoid. Yeah! A definite threat. Damn, just like that. 62, 69, 69. Let's just deliver the punch in the face. And down goes the first one. That's we are good. Six and Ness is level 25. All is level 20. Oh, baby. That is very nice. Would have been cool if Jeff, uh, Jeff grew to level 20, but oh, well, we can't get him. Right, let's heal up Paula. And let's. Uh, Jeff is leave. He's not that low on HP. Let's check that. And we get ourselves a bomb. 
Now, if you're wondering why I'm keeping this bomb and not the other one, that is because I couldn't use the other bomb. And I didn't really want to afford to stock up on or have space that would just be taken up. So, we give this bomb to Jeff, who can deal excellent BSI fire damage with Because he can easily detonate, detonate it for being such a genius. Now, I'm getting super lucky with this place, and I'm very glad for that, because usually this place can be a very big old pain in the behind. Protein drink. Uh, I don't think that it does exactly. Building stronger, now your body gives you a blast of nourishment and more fatigue. You can just recover up for basically uh, health improvement. Let's have Paula hold on to that, because she's basically the healer. And let's enter this cave and see where this leads. And we see we run into a roach, I believe. Yeah, the violent roach. Do, 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 do. He leads to Jeff's solidified. He got scared. He dodged. No! How is that? How is that little dodge? How is that little uh, insect so loud faster? And down goes the roach, just like that. Which is very nice. But as you can see, we're getting a lot more experience. But we're also leveling up a lot slower, so you know, trade for trade. Get ourselves a bottle rocket. That is very nice. We're gonna want to give that to our buddy Jeff, so he can take utmost advantage of it. Uh, I'll have to sh I'll have to sell that cheap bracelet once we get to um, our next pertinent area. And with this Cortland music, I believe. Yeah, we're very. Well, there. Here we are in the wonderful Saturn Valley. That's interesting music. We feel good. Hi ho, me, Mr. Saturn. Oh, this place. All our Mr. Saturn. Well, we are here with this amazing place, because why not? And, um, so, do you want slumber? Kale. And there we go. We get a wonderful rest thanks to the Mr. Saturns. Uh, they say we should not look around. That place is your obvious healing spot. Uh, I don't remember, I believe this is like your doctor's. I'm Dr. Saturn. Zoom! And I can repair your body. Boing! You want me to operate on you? Ding! No. Are you Kale? If you alright, that's great. Zoomer! Now the Mr. Saturns, they are pretty much the lifeline and blood of, well, this wonderful world of Earthbound. This is the hidden valley that the man was referring to. The Rust Promoter. Um, don't really think the item's all that useful. I've never found much use of it. Quickly rust metallic enemies when used during battle. They only take up to 200 points of damage gone after one use. I think I might as well have just our buddy Jeff hold on to that. He'll be the one that's making the most use of it. Give it to him. Jeez. And with this very bouncy music, there's a bunch of different ways to go. Go to the bathroom, please. Let's see what he says. We look like same. I give you special thing. Not now. Zoom. I give you on the way back. Boing. Bye later. Hmm. Base. Secret. Base behind Grapefruit Falls. Password. I tell. Belch man say, say password, then stand still, wait for three minutes. Okay? Or KO, as they say. And I believe, yes, this leads us out and to the shop. With that wonderful music. Hi, hi, hi. You come buying? You can sell too. I'm Mr. Sad. Boing. Can't do it all for you. What do you want? Zoom? You want to sell me things? At me doing? At me boing? I don't know. One or the other. Uh, where is it? Let's get rid of that cheap bracelet. Cheap bracelet. The most us pay that is 47. 49. Is that KO on you? Ding ding. Yes. 49. Oh, you think? Is there anything Zoom else we need? Uh, yeah, let's check out what kind of wares he has. He has the insecticide spray, the stag beetle. Okay, so mostly, um, just, uh, healing items and stuff like that. No, there's really not much else. Oh, you think? That's what this man is. Thank you. Ah, wrong thing. 
right there. Hi, hi, hi. You come by. You can sell two. I'm Sir Saturn. Boing. Can do for you. Let's see what he's got. He's got the Bionic Slingshot, the Travel Charm, the Great Charm, the Silver Bracelet, and the Red Ribbon. Now, hmm. How good I want to do this? Because the Saturn Valley is a very useful place. And there's a lot to do. So probably off screen I will be maximizing my wares and stuff like that. And I will probably return to three for a moment to go stock up on some good items for just to you, Jeff to use. But for now, with this um, well wonderful trip to the wonderful ones, very in flamboyant Saturn Valley. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please show me some love and support by hitting that like button. Comment down below what you all enjoyed. Would love to see. Share with all your friends, family, or anyone you would enjoy this type of gameplay or commentary. Oh, excuse me. And subscribe. And also hit that little bell for daily notifications. But thank you guys for watching, and I will most definitely see all of you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.